ओके फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द कैल्शियम डिपेंडेंट पाथवे ऑफ सेल सिग्नलिंग नाउ आई हैव आई हैव थॉट अबाउट दैट मेनी टाइम्स दैट आई मस्ट डू दिस बट नाउ फाइनली डिसाइड टू डू दैट बिकॉज दिस इज रियली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट समटाइम्स इट इज दिस इज रियली कन्फ्यूजिंग सो लेट अस टॉक अबाउट दिस कैल्शियम डिपेंडेंट सेल सिग्नलिंग पाथवे ओके ओके फाइन <coughs> now uh, before uh, going to start about this calcium dependent cell signaling pathway few things you must know about that now the calcium or the presence of calcium is higher the concentration of calcium always kept higher inside uh, this endoplasmic reticulum lumen so this is the first point i i want you to focus the concentration of calcium this is really important the concentration of calcium is high it is high in endoplasmic reticulum and uh, it is low in the cytoplasm okay so this keep this thing in your mind okay so this is the first point i must tell you and the second point uh, i am telling you about that to to transfer the calcium from uh, endoplasmic reticulum lumen uh, to the cytoplasm or cytoplasm to the er or from the outside of the cell into the cell uh, cytoplasm from cytoplasm to the extracellular place whatever we are transferring we definitely need a pump a pump to transfer this calcium because the the concentration of calcium inside the cell or inside any inside the cytoplasm or endoplasmic reticulum lumen whatever we are talking about is tightly controlled and it is need to be controlled really really tightly okay the concentration of this calcium ion inside the cytoplasm not must not exceed 10 to the power -7 molar okay that is the thing we need to keep this below 10 to the power -7 molar that is uh, the basic part okay and definitely they can uh, and this this concentration in inside the lumen becomes 10 to the power minus 3 molar so that that this is uh, the figure i need you to memorize i need you to remember because these are really really important and this 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 properties will help you to understand this mechanism of pathway so the basic need that cell always want uh, to maintain the concentration balance between the endoplasmic reticulum and cytoplasm that is the basic part okay and then they we must have pumps we must have channel and pumps to transfer that and what kind of pump we generally have we sometimes have the voltage gated pump as you can see in this picture these are the voltage gated pumps sometimes uh, we are we we can have th th these pumps can be atp driven or not sometimes uh, they are voltage uh, gated so they do not need atp but, some, but sometimes they need atp or sometimes we can ha also have the simple atp driven pumps okay so that these are the basic parts okay now if we look at the neuromuscular junction and the activity of calcium ions in the uh, at the neurovascular junction what happens when there is a resting potential so there is no dramatic potential change or activatic potential change in the neuromuscular junction what happens uh, there is a vesicle containing acetylcholine present there there are voltage gated channels on the nerve terminal and also the voltage gated channel in the new uh, and uh, a muscle uh, in the muscle layer okay so if if we talk about there this is our muscle cell and this is the nerve terminal so this is the neuromuscular junction and this is the nerve terminal and this is the muscular region so nerve terminal uh, is having the voltage gated calcium channel as well as uh, this uh, this uh, muscle cell also having this voltage gated calcium channel as well as they are having the voltage gated sodium channel why they need this voltage gated channels because during this neuromuscular transfer of uh, different elements the voltage uh, it plays a very very important role in this case because uh, they generate lots of active potential during this transfer of uh, this voltage transfer of uh, this uh, ions from uh, the cell to the outside the cell okay so what happens suddenly when they they generate an active potential as a result of that what happens first thing happens is that calcium which present in the outside the of of this uh, total layer uh, start to invade and go into Uh, the nerve cell okay so the calcium comes in and as a result what happens it triggers the fusion of acetylcholine vesicle with this nerve terminal uh, region and as a result acetylcholine is getting released now this acetylcholine is go uh, acetylcholine go and attach with this sodium pump as you can see this is a normal sodium pump so whenever the acetylcholine go and bind with this sodium pump uh, <coughs> the sodium pump is getting opened and as a result sodium ion which are present in the in this extracellular region can be uptaken by this muscular cells so they uptake sodium from different regions as well as not only the normal sodium gate but also using this voltage gated sodium gates and as a result when they start to accumulate much and much more positive ions in the cell uh, as you can see in this case 
okay as a result of the sodium uptake uh, what happens this this uh, this fourth uh, po position or, or the, the the second work of the voltage gated calcium channel is getting open and as a result of this channel opening what happens they start to transfer the calcium ion from the cell into the outer membrane so uh, for doing that they need to transfer calcium from the er into the cy cytoplasm because they are having the storage vesicle uh, of this calcium or the er in case of muscle we call it the sarco sarcomere okay so from sa from this er lumen this calcium is getting uh, out into the cytosol and and uh, this calcium from the cytosol uh, will be transported into the uh, outside this uh, uh, muscle if if needed via this uh, voltage gated calcium channel so these are the techniques or these are the steps of how uh, the signaling is going on throughout this place okay as a result the basic mean uh, for that is to control the balance of uh, the calcium concentration in the cytosol as well as maintain the calcium concentration in the er lumen so whenever the concentration falls down or goes up they need to do different works to maintain that balance so that is the basic point of my discussion now if we look at this picture it will clear all your queries because you can see now if we look at the nerve terminal and we will also look at the cell normal cell now in the nerve terminal what happens the most of the part uh, they are driven by the voltages but you can see that the cell is surrounded by much more calcium ions as you can see here and this calcium ions are ready to go enter uh, in inside the in, in inside the cell because the cell having a less amount of calcium but that that can only happen when this voltage gated channels uh, will become open and when this voltage gated channels will open uh, as a result of uh, the activation of the any signal so somehow when the signal comes in and uh, the potential generates and as a result this voltage gated channel opens up and lot of calcium ions start to enter in inside this cell and the cell is start to rise the concentration of calcium inside the cytoplasm when it reaches uh, the the uh, the desired amount of uh, concentration like the 10 to the power minus 7 mole it stop uh, this this journey not only actually stop because if the cell is having uh, all the ingredients like er lumen then what happens when they are having the higher amount of uh, uh, of this calcium ion in the cytoplasm so in the second place uh, the the those uh, pumps which just present uh, on the ER membrane get open and the calcium from the cytoplasm is taken onto the inside of the cell inside of uh, the ER lumen okay as a result the the concentration of calcium in the cytoplasm remain constant remain balanced okay so this is the uh, situation in the nerve terminal junction but when is what we can find in case of normal uh, eukaryotic cells so as you can see in this normal eukaryotic cell uh, they store the calcium inside this uh, er lumen and they are having this pump of cal calcium uh, calcium transferring pump they are also having the receptor of signal proteins so they, they often do not uh, generally have the voltage gated channels because uh, they normally uh, possess this uh, receptor proteins or ligand binding proteins now the receptor when binds with any ligand which which acts as a signal molecule now this ligand is activating uh, different proteins and as a result the protein normally as you can see the ip path pathway remember we are having the pip2 and pip2 is cleaved is getting cleaved into two part one is the ipc and one is the dag so dag goes on and activate protein kinase c but pi uh, but ip3 can go and uh, and bind with <coughs> this protein uh, bind with here we can see this uh, uh, pump present in this ER uh, membrane and as a result uh, this pump opens up and more and more calcium ions which are previously being stored in the, the ER lumen come into the cytoplasm now this calcium ion can come and act uh, like a messenger and can carry out different layers of cell signaling pathways inside the cell so that's how the cell signaling is working and the calcium is really really important to carry out different layers of cell signaling they can act as a second uh, actually act as a third or uh, tertiary messenger as you can see in this case so they are really really important and i hope you understand that uh, and that is really help helpful to understand you uh, thank you